the first thing you want to do when you've got your materials you've got a bunch of capacitors and resistors here um, you want to separate everything out make sure you've got the right size um, resistors and capacitors and I'm actually going to take just some scrap paper here some poster board real, works real good uh, some tape and a magic marker and I'm going to label everything we have now this is actually our what's called an opto isolator it's a piece that's used in this particular amp there's just one of them uh, it's also called an opto coupler and I'm just kinda gonna tape it here like you can see this just makes things a lot easier when you're going to populate the board your circuit board inside the chassis it's much easier to find what you're looking for here and I usually keep all my capacitors together keep all the resistors together and note also uh, you might also have some different voltage values on these as well as their capacitance value And there's just a little diode there'll be a couple of little parts that you might just have one or two of it's nice to put them in here uh, is in an easy to get to space and you can see here I've kind of gone through got my capacitors there's the power capacitors all the smaller ones that we need um, and then some of the uh, ceramic disc uh, capacitors and be sure to use some kind of chart or guide and double check your resistor values. You know, those marks um, will give you the amount of resistance for each uh, type of resistor. And there's plenty of these little charts on the uh, internet that you can download. But we do the same thing. Group them all together. Write down their values especially with the resistors uh, pay attention to what's a K you know a 100 K versus a 100 ohm versus a 1 meg make sure you've got all those separate and accounted for 